calculating how they want to set up this fight to make sure that at least this Farsa can do something. But now we see it, right? It's a very clear picture. Yeah. Yeah. Carry hasn't been doing very well in MSC, but at least when you pick it here, when yeah. you go and close up your uh, line up with this, you're doing fine and yep, it's D7. Oh no. Okay. That's so much oh. range, so much hot hands coming in from Burn. Next flash, it's in their name. Wow, this is interesting because now there's no way to, to cancel. And now at two minutes, Turtle is up. Shima first on the scene. ATM drawing a line. They're just going to be putting all of their resources onto ATM first. However, it doesn't seem like it's going to be phasing ATM at all until Roy came into the picture. As now the split split is just going to be connected onto Bray. As you look over to the back, Diablo just going to be focusing Whoa. onto the turtle. But that will be Lucia Cutie that takes the turtle very, uh, at first. But x Flash immediately retreated themselves afterwards. A string of odd occurrences. Yes. First up, Lucian Cutie gets the turtle, yeah. and then first blood drawn onto who you want to put the turtle on for Burn X Splash. That was a really, really weird interaction, but they're big props to the side of the side of uh, RCSG, just making sure that oh, they... Oh, no, 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 Immediate flickers himself out of the way. Roy gets a kill. D7 connects right down onto the hook. Plus the, to the game. And there's the hook. Oh, and of course. It does seem as though Luther Kitty wants to continue Whoa. on, but a flicker comes in from Oki to ensure that he'll be able to come close to Donut. Wow. The back out. Something to note about Burnex Flash's draft is they have no real peel. Besides ATM, who actually wants to draw a line between yeah. his opponents and his squad, there's really not much they can do to stand up against RSG's damage. And now a free turtle take right in front of ATM's face. Oh, Roy did manage to get hit by the um, by the grab grab, but it doesn't seem like it will be too big of a Whoa. thing because RSG do want to be so aggressive on ATM. Great escape though when it comes down to the flicker. In the meantime, down to the bottom lane, great start coming from. Cat. Oki knew that he had no choice but to take the fight head on. He goes down and so will Lucent Cutie. The oh. numbers game were against RSG down bottom. Yeah. And it looked like they couldn't find a way to capitalize. So this was a losing he trade. He transferred to the top lane. I really like the fact that Burn X Flash immediately went for recovery mode in the bottom lane to try to make things good for Donut. In the meantime, RSG knew what's going to be happening. They went to go down to the bottom lane, but Diablo was unable to hold the fort all by himself. It's the same flub. RSG SD seems to have overestimated the amount of the state. Over to RSG, right? This is really like not much that they can do. But next flash is just playing their own game while well, RSG is a little bit slow on that. Astral Echo already set in by Seacat. Looking for better ways to engage. And here's ATM coming ATM. in. ATM! He's just gonna be ca uh, caught in between of everyone else with the first person down. Bray takes himself the turtle and Bernard's Flash would want to retreat. Full on retreat. Shama makes a quick run. But Diablo with the sword out strike brings him down with two members down. Wonderful recovery coming up from Arch. Almost an even when it, almost an even matchup when it comes to their like economy. The fact that they have maintained their tier one in the middle means that they have more map control. And Donut immediately jumps himself with a Panat's rage, followed uh, followed after D7's hooks. So that's something you don't have when oh. you're RSG. Oh. Everything has to come clean. Everything has to come when you're ready. The pencil maneuver down on the Oki. ATM brings him down as one X Flash huddles together, congregated together to make sure that they will be able to push. Have a lord. All the lasers synced. The top lane is just going to be marched down by the Trident Bearing Lord. And he's going to be melted down relatively fast. Whoa. In the meantime, great snipe down onto Lucid Cutie. The front line is not going to be there for a good amount of time. But, you know, there's not going to be some presence coming Whoa. in. But Red Hot coming in right through onto Oki. And this RSG doesn't have the damage that they wanted anymore. Knock up that stat to about 60%. If not, it's worth it. I don't care. You get one hook that matters. That's all that matters right now. And oh, the the air strike along with the deadly cat. Everything just gonna be tossed right on the opponents, and they will throw whatever that they can. ATM gets himself snacked out on top of Lucid Cutie. That's gonna be a two for one trade. But Oki, he's coming back out. The top lane and the middle lane inhibitor turn is unfortunately gonna be taken down. Followed shortly by the bottom. Four v four. The defense of a lifetime coming in from RSG. Slate. Roy doesn't have his feather strike just yet. Burn X Flash, let's go. The Cambodian push it a bit, getting the Lord, and when they pushed against RSG, they stayed, but did not overstay. They got a pick oh! up, they got four, but wonderful plays coming out from Roy. Do you see how much damage that was? Oh, but look at that. 
you can see that uh, be, where the splash knew that this could happen. They just guessed it wrongly. Oh, that's a bloody hunt down on the Diablo. Donut was around, so RSG, they have the information. They're gonna be going four men all in down on the Lord and immediately bring down ATM. But unfortunately, he do have got the revive. And you see, with the immortality, he's gonna be holding him back on. ATM, he's dead. He may be dead. RSG is all the more difficult. And that's why Bergson has so much time and space to work with. Yes, they now absolutely. have the Lord marching down through mid. It's a 5v5 defense. The Siege of a oh, Lifetime. Can the, they start it up strong? The threat is not quite there yet for Oki, but big oh, start from Donna, leaving Diablo with only a slip of health. But unfortunately, Lucian Kitty is not going to be staying alive for any more longer. The Lord is going to have his feet. The Bloody Hunt will get down onto Diablo and the entirety of the push in from Burning Flash conquered. RSG's played SG. You can hear the crowd roar. The Kamai love it. Burn it. Heat. Uh, th th this I love was it. possibly one of those. Uh, I, wait, are we sure that this is an XP lane? Yeah, that's yeah, gotta be it. an XP lane. It, go ahead, right? Yeah, I don't know. I it don't could know. technically go into the jungle so you can get early, like, that's also again, true. That's get an EXP lead, like a massive EXP lead to keep this 1 1 in place. And then the Atlas to follow up for next match. They got the counter engage for team fights. Yeah. I last saw a Jawhead XP that really hurt. In rank games, this is this is gonna be yeah. this is gonna be an acquired taste. Uh, dividends. D7 is still capable to join into this upcoming team fight for the very first turtle. But for RSG, they're coming in from all sides. ATM doesn't really have a lot of help to work with, but he's not gonna be the jungler at all for now. But Martis, first one down. That mid pet, the retribution is not around. One for two, two for one right now. This is big. Oh, big money going over Push the burn. On the right side, so he knew that it was a safe way to kind of be aggressive and force out Oki to use the flicker. Now, there's a hook! And of course, immediately with a bloody hunt down on the D7, Oki expanded out of the Ibrus I'm just gonna yeah. leave. Yeah. In the meantime, up in the bottom lane, it does seem as though Diablo spread a little bit too far as they were, they were looking for an assassination attempt. But it does seem as though they were the one assassinated instead. Wow, oh, this is so poetic. The expected part of uh, being an XP lane has Look. that in their kit, but no, D7 survives! He goes for the flicker out of the hands of Lucian Cutie. The fight is going to be split into two, wow. but the main thing is Bray went for ATM. ATM ran away with just a sliver of health while Bray... Martis, and then win the, ba the battle afterwards. But well, it does seem as though D7 went for a single man pickup. Onto Lucian Cutie with the fatal links and Donut finds himself with the weakness drop onto Roy. Roy doesn't really have a lot of help to work with, but Bray moves onto the back line with the decimate down onto Donut. Oh. And Next from Roy on to Seacat. And that's an engagement that Burning Clash thought initially they won, but so far it looks like there was more early on in this game. Yeah, that Bane in Shamaz's uh, hand will still play very, very sustained. Now ATM very low. Oh, unstoppable force onto ATM. This is probably the third time that ATM. Oh! Speak of the devil, I thought it would be the third time that he runs away barely breathing. But D7 continues to move on forward with the fatal links that connected on to Roy run, and Roy, Diablo. Run. Roy, do you even have the time? Will you be able to run away? But no, wasn't able to do so. Zekan joins himself in and brings him down. Oki came in a no, tad... 100%. I really like that play, play from Oki. It's a... Uh... It's really underrated because what he did was to clear the wave. In fact, focus on the lane so that they can defend their bottom lane turret. Oh, the bloody hunt down on the Z Cat. Diablo as well. Lucid Cutie is just going to be appearing right behind on the main line of the next flash. But Atlas oh. comes in. He will be able to get a kill down onto the Jawhead. ATM finishes off. Diablo is on, finishes off on the prey. As such, oh, no. Zcat. Oh, that's massive. They know where Diablo is. They, they can smell know. him. They know! As Diablo immediately tossed ATM backwards. Four men. Poker game. Down at the bottom. All in. Oh, at these seven. Where can we see this? Actually, swinging closer to equal, right? This gold lead shrinking. It's at 6k right now, and they're gonna go for the top lane push. Good hook coming in from Lucid Cutie in order to bring Burnet Flash into and within their walls. But it doesn't seem like he will be able to do quite much right now. As Lucid Cutie is gonna be oh. taken up with the front line. Bray as well as the whole lineup of RSG moves on forward. Burnet Flash with two casualties. Oh, they there's on the offensive. They've left their base and they're making plays on the upper quarter. Okay, so now it is uh, 
RNG's late definitely survived the first part of the, I'm the not rotation. Not sure about this. Oh, never mind. A lot of damage is what? actually what? amazing what? from RNG. Whoa. But ATM, they even have to use the conceal in order to get that movement speed. Oki is now in safe territory. He's around Lucy Cutie. He's around Bray as well. Unfortunately, Diablo, I cannot say the same for him. One man fatal links. Yeah. That is just. That, that will happen. Oh. Wow, with the pull. But the majority oh. of Burnex Flash members are very low, and there goes Cutie with a fight! And it doesn't seem like oh. Burnex Flash will be doing a Attack that back! Every single one of the members for the RNG and Burnex Flash! They are going all in! Wobble Combo, Unga Bunga, Zona, it's not oh. even good! Oh. Oh. And Zona is just gonna be sucked down! Four men from the side of Burnex Flash, taken down while Oki, the only fatality! Wow. Donut Airlines failed to take off! That might be one of the considerations now for Burnex Flash. And uh, big props to Oki on actually the fight. Had it not been for Donut having the win of nature, it would have been perfect for RSG. He still managed to win the fight for the team, though. As now from D7 goes over to the back line, they managed to catch oh, Oki! And that is win condition from RSG taken away. RSG wow. knew that they can't exactly take this fight, but Diablo is still sticking around somewhere. D7 has scouted out on the Diablo. They're making a full on retreat. Where's the damage from RSG? Can they even stay on for this fight? Oh, but look at this, the angle from Lucian Cutie. Coming oh! in with the fight! Flicka! That's on the bloody hut! Roy takes a kill down on the zone of the decimate! But Roy coming in from the side, he immediately wants to throw off with the Astro Spear. Because Ooh. it's from the Seacat, not Ooh. the ATM, not the right person that he wants. But at least both sides, they have tallied Ooh. out the fight. Oki's coming back, but Donut not quite yet. The Flicker, or rather Diablo, is just immediately jumping oh. right in. And they managed to catch one. Seacat continues to stay in the team fight. Shaman is just pushing everyone else out. Seacat with only a sliver. He does oh. have the immortality, but I don't think that they got any Ooh. much weight Ooh. to actually catch Ooh. up to him. So sweaty. Oh All my right. goodness. I'm pretty sure oh. ATM's life oh, just flashed back before his very eyes. Same for Seacat, but luckily he had an immortality driver's oh. seat. They're about a thousand gold ahead. They oh. have vision, oh. and they're first to the scene, and now ATM! Oh. And they can actually oh. melt him down. They popped him! Oh. Oh. Thank you for your service. He's sitting at 0, 2, and 12. If in game one we won off the back of these sevens, Franco, maybe RSG can get this! And Fatal Links is just gonna be connected down, but unfortunately they will lose the opportunity to challenge the Lord. But right now, Lucid Cutie, he drives every single one of the members from the side of Burnett Flies away Whoa, as Diablo throws him oh. away! And Oki takes a kill down onto Donut. Bray leading the charge with Oki onto the artillery. Roy is behind as well. They are shoving the entirety. Was, not only did he save his teammate, he got a kill for the team. My god, the axe of devil! The kind of utility there you can find from a jawhead, but perhaps we'll be able to see a little bit more as Lucid Cutie drops off with the bloody hunt on the D7. Yeah. D7 goes behind! The three man fatal link expended the immortality coming from the side of Bray and Lucid Cutie. See, can continue on through with a double decimate. He puts himself down with the. With the with the truncheon, uh, but D7 wasn't able to continue from this fray. All right, it's interesting how RSG is here so oh quick in fights. Despite just there being two left. Oh, there's a five-man push. This could be it. A five-man push right down. D7 wants to proxy in between, and we want to stop Roy as well as Double from doing anything at all. The Deadly Cat pushes right on, and Donut has wow. it down on the crystal. And in a flash, burn X. Take us three. And the answer. Okay, it's going to be Alpha. All right, so the Alpha jungle is there to answer the Arlon and the Frederick. Interesting to note, we are going back to what Diablo's used to execute on the Benedetta. Bray, though. He's just going to be jumping in, in right onto Shema as well as ATM. He jumps himself away with his ultimate, but unfortunately, this is a collapse from the side of Burnax Flash. They bring Bray down, and fortunately wasn't able to do quite much. Diablo, eye for an eye, oh! connects! And that is gonna be a stun! And Roy comes in from behind to snipe D7 away as well. A valuable trade. Roy sniping them out. This is a 3v2 potentially. Make it a 3v3 now, four! Imme three. Immediately ATM doesn't really have a lot of help to work with, but the South Order will be able to extend the life of the side of Burnax Flash just by a tad little bit. RSG takes the turtle for themselves, as now Liu Security as well as Bray would want to get themselves away as fast as they can. Blue security expends his flicker. Bray finds himself. Oh! oh! A very important life kill, but it's not the team like he will be able to keep himself long enough. And now ATM with the final slash pulls Blue security deeper into their own jungles. He's not able to bring him down though. Diablo continues his onslaught oh! on ATM and he successfully brings him down.
That's the unbending will doing work. The less life you have, oh. the more damage you deal. But D7 can engage S4. And that will mean that we are waiting for a timing, which typically happens at nine minutes for Burning Smash. Here we go. The jump in. That's Spear Valve to start up. And of God with the Minoan Fury. Minoan Rage that's gonna be popping right up. D7 gets a kill down on the Roy. And Diablo was hoping he'll be able to get away from the hands of ATM. But let's be honest here, the amount of dash is just a little bit too much as D7 comes in to pin some maneuver. And the 1-1 uh, one -one timing is very crucial. Oh, here's a pull coming in from Chama. It's for Burning Splash. All of them to take. It doesn't seem like the Minotaur is gonna be anywhere here. And now we do have Chama that takes down the Turtle Diablo finds himself under the threat of ATM and D7 came in from behind. Punishes both Roy and Diablo. Oh, yeah. He needs a pair of pants. He needs a pair of pants. That's he needs safe it. to say. And now, even Lucian Curie feeling the wrath of all this physical damage from Burning Splash. He's angry. Minoan's rage down, down on the two members. But the cause Otto will be able to keep them alive for a little while longer. As Dona jumped himself over the back lines with the BMI. But it doesn't seem like we'll be able to do quite much there. Most of the members from the side of RSG were on a sliver. And they are barely alive. But they will be able to recall back home. Uh -oh. And this would be big as oh, oh! oh! Important! Final Slash G are getting overloaded. Here they're making a play for the Lord. It's at about half of its health. Let's see. Astral Echo already spent. Oh, oh. Diablo D7. down to the bottom lane, though. He's getting distracted. As D7 is on well spot, has been able to put his HP all the way down low. He's gonna go down. In the meantime, the main fight, Chama takes the Lord. But for now, Oki soars into the air. He did manage to get a kill down on the Shema. That's gonna be good. And as well as ATM, RSG and Burnett Flash tries to find value from both sides. But what is this that we're seeing? Zika is appearing in the middle lane, but... Yep. Now Chama looking for the pull, Lucian Cutie standing their ground after Echo. This one's a good one. They see a lot of members from Burnett oh! Flash. Oh, the big man, Roy, goes down. And now the rest of the members from the side of Burnett Flash understand that they do have enough of priority. They're just going to be jumping right in, brings on the board. And three men down from the side of RSG. Oki, the last member remaining down in the bottom side. And he's going to be left with Diablo to try to defend it all. Again, Un understanding coming out from RSG State. Yeah. Yeah, and and Sigat isn't, isn't even a real damage dealer. Oh no, but El Diablo! He managed to get away, no problem. But ATM wants to come in from behind and Lucian immediately knocks ATM up. As long as no one gives him the proxy oh. to keep on with the dash, he was gonna be A-OK. -okay. Diablo Whoa. won't run away, but Lucian Cutie! He goes down to the hands of Burnout Flash. They, they and tried to go for him and he managed to stay alive in those defenses. I think the general game plan here from the side of RSG is just oh to no. try, try oh to play no. safe. But unfortunately, that doesn't look safe for me at all. As we have Bray taken down, coincide with the hell. Oh, we, we are here, the 20 minute mark. If you die here, you might as well have just ended the game right then and there. The Lord pushes aggressively. The entirety of RSG holds down the fort and wants to keep the Lord busy as possible. Donut joins in. Bray gets caught out. Oki gets caught out. Two men down from the side of RSG. And the entire part of the side of Bird and Flash is going to be pummeling themselves. Right down on RSG. Bird and Flash takes the game. Takes the series out of the hands of RSG. The first elimination of MSC.